Today, we're gonna take a look at a BenQ Screenbar Plus, which you can see right there, which helps me in long night gaming sessions or in recording videos. I've been searching for a monitor lamp for a while now, and I was thinking which one should I get, which I shouldn't, and I was warned to buy one actually. Although, I checked out some reviews and, and they were saying that mounting is pretty pretty average, so I decided to not get it and still wait to find out the perfect monitor lamp. And like another day, Benki sent me a message, hey, do you want the screen bar? And I was like, yes, definitely. I was super excited to try it out and had so much of expectations. And does the screen bar fit them? Well, I'm gonna try to answer this question during this whole video. But before I will talk about the screen bar, please make sure to check out my Discord server and my Instagram, all the links are in the description. And now let's jump to the screen bar. So BenQ Screen Bar Plus have just basic features, but it is performing really well with this feature. I love to use it when it's really dark outside and automatically my room is also pretty dark. And I thought that the LEDs which I have on my desk are good enough to light up my area. Although, after trying monitor lamp, I changed my mind. It's so good to this point that I just can't imagine living without it. I feel like everyone will find your own peripheral color temperature because you can just adjust the color temperature with a knob which is included to the screen bar plus. And also you can increase or decrease the brightness with this knob too. It's just so amazing. I love to have a knob, just I don't need to press the screen bar to turn it off or turn it on. I just have a knob and it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing, isn't it? Color temperature can be adjusted between 2700 kelvins to up 6500 kelvins. Also, if you don't know which lighting option will be the best, there's the automatic version which will adjust the cold temperature and brightness by itself. It helps, it's just quick. And by the way, this thing is just connected during the USB. So I just plugged it in into my monitor and it works. Next strong thing about it, that there are no reflections or any glares. So if you want to color create something or just came and have the best colors, it won't be such an issue with the screen bar. It just won't affect your visual experience. Build quality is also pretty decent. I have no complaints about this area. For real, it's just pretty pretty good product in terms of the quality. And also, while I have really thin bezels on my monitor, it doesn't sit that hard on my LCD, so you won't have such a problem like wider area on your monitor or something else that if you push your monitor really strong, there will be some defections in color. But no, hey, there's no such an issue with this screen bar. So another big positive, right? It should last over 50,000 hours of usage. So in my case, it's easily more than five years. I'm really happy that this thing will be with me for like five years. I know this video might seem that it's sponsored, but it's not. Thank you just send me their product to make my own honest review. And I'm actually doing that. I just can't complain about this product. It's just perfect. And maybe the major issue might be the price. Although, as I said in one of my reviews, for the quality products, you need to pay a bit higher price tags. But if you can't afford this one, there are plenty of another screen bars. Although I really recommend this one. I really enjoy using it. It feels premium. It looks pretty good. It's just doing everything right. But is it doing anything better than the cheaper alternatives? I don't know, but probably this one will last you longer. And back into my question from the beginning of the video. Yes, and I totally recommend this. 
If you want to purchase it, links are in the description. And basically that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please leave a like and subscribe. It will help. Also, please leave a comment. What do you think about this product? Would you buy it or would you save a bit of money and get something cheaper? Or maybe you just don't need monetary lab. Let me know in the comments. I will definitely read them. And yeah, right now, see you in other videos. Bye.